Ukraine calls UN security meeting after mass Russian attack across country. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine requested an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council on July 8 after Russia killed over 28 civilians in a mass aerial attack across the country, President Volodymyr Zelensky announced. The Russian military used Kinjal ballistic missiles, as well as KH-101 and KH-22 cruise missiles, to attack Ukrainian cities. Ukraine called for the meeting after Russia took over the presidency of the Unsecurity Council on July 1. The Okmardit Hospital, Ukraine's largest children's medical center, was reportedly hit by a KH-101 cruise missile in the morning Russian attack. The July 8 attack has been the deadliest in months, with the casualty figures comparable to massive strikes carried out by Russia during the winter. Over 100 civilian casualties reported after Russian mass attack on Kyiv, other cities in Ukraine. The aerial attack targeted Kyiv, Dnipro, Kriviri, Slovyansk, Pokrovsk, and Kramatorsk, damaging 50 civilian sites, including residential buildings, a business center, and two medical facilities, the state emergency service reported. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Ukraine called for the meeting after Russia took over the presidency of the UN Security Council on July 1. Vasily Nebenzia, Russia's envoy to the UN, said earlier that Ukraine is not on the agenda for this month. Doesn't sound like a good lead into talks. Hungary got the EU presidency of council and Russia the presidency of the Unsecurity Council? What is this? How many life will this cost? None. The UNSC presidency doesn't really matter as it's functionally the same as Russia's already existent veto. EU presidency is also more procedural than anything else. All it takes is a sufficiently unscrupulous individual or organization to weaponize something that is just procedural. Source, January 6. Well, that and a flawed constitution. Agreed. The global right-wing movements are to a large extent relying on constitutions and institutions that didn't anticipate Nazi approaches. And then once the Nazis take over, the constitution stops mattering. For the first time since 2013, New Jersey residents are being treated to the city's biggest fireworks celebration this July 4th. The 10,000 free tickets Mayor Eric Adams was offering have all been claimed, but a number of venues from the High Line to Hudson Yards are selling fancy $100 plus tickets to their rooftop parties and viewing points. There are still plenty of places to take in the great views for free, no tickets required. Having Russia hold the presidency of the UN Security Council is like having Harold Shipman as the head of the WHO. Like having Saudi Arabia as chair on the Commission of Status of Women, which they will be for 2025. Un is a joke. I'm going to start a democracy organization and invite Kim Jong-un to be the chairman. Duh, it's right there in the name. Democracy is even in his county's name. Sadly nothing will be done, I guarantee it, if I had a million dollars I would bet all of it. For the first time since 2013, New Jersey residents are being treated to the city's biggest fireworks celebration this July 4th. The 10,000 free tickets Mayor Eric Adams was offering have all been claimed, but a number of venues from the High Line to Hudson Yards are selling fancy $100 plus tickets to their rooftop parties and viewing points. There are still plenty of places to take in the great views for free, no tickets required. Greater than U.S. ships in the Black Sea. This will not happen. Under the Montreux Convention, Turkey has closed the Dardanelles and Bosphorus Straits to all warships of any country besides countries which have coastlines on the Black Sea, Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, Russia, Turkey, and Ukraine. And even then, the only ships allowed to cross the straits currently are ones that are returning to their home ports inside the Black Sea. It's the reason why Russia can't bring Atlantic or Pacific fleet ships in to replace the losses their Black Sea fleet has taken. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.